New York Times and American Daily mocked India's Mars orbit mission Mangalayan in 2014, implying it was a fluke for a third world country like India to achieve a feat that had previously been accomplished by just three space agencies. The racist and elitist remark received a massive pushback from Indians and from everyone who was even remotely associated with science. Fast forward 28 months. India scripted history by successfully putting 104 satellites into orbit in a single mission. Thanks to tireless efforts of Indian Space Research Organization or ISRO and other Indian agencies that have also made a mark. India has not just fine-tuned its space missions and has enhanced payload capacity of its rockets, but has efficiently developed a space program that has outperformed its rivals in terms of tech and competence and has compelled space players from world over to look to India for assistance. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. The Indian space story began in the little-known fishing hamlet, Tumba, in India's southern state of Kerala in the 1960s. From space launches and operations, to inventing technologies, to developing commercial satellite launch facilities, the velocity of the Indian space journey has been exponential and second to none. The Indian space program has developed powerful and comprehensive standard operating procedures from launch to landing. India's space exploration agency, ISRO, which dominates the Indian space industry, has led successful milestones for the country, as well as other countries, by launching their satellites. Recently, ISRO's launch vehicle Mark III successfully placed 36 satellites of OneWeb, an Indian-owned UK-based company, completing the first-generation Low Earth Orbit constellation. Let me take this opportunity to thank once again the entire ISRO community uh, for their uh, work towards making this rocket one of the best in this class and it actually increased the confidence on us on this rocket GSLV Mark III for taking up the uh, Gaganyan which is going to be flying on this rocket as well. More recently, ISRO's reusable launch vehicle, RLV, successfully landed, bringing India closer to the dream of its own space plane and sustainable space exploration. The technique adopted to launch the vehicle was first in the world. A winged body was carried by a helicopter to an altitude of 4.5 kilometers and released for an autonomous landing on the runway. ISRO successfully demonstrated its innovative and cost-effective technologies which have made it part of an elite space club. India, with the support of ISRO, has emerged as a leader in third-party launch services. India has earned a massive revenue of 279 million USD till now by launching satellites for 34 countries by ISRO. India's space industry's role has been instrumental in developing several application areas including weather forecasting, navigation, oceanographic studies, disaster management, and agriculture. Experts say that this Indian step will soon prove to be a game changer. The opening of the space economy to private participation in all phases of activities has ushered in an era of growth, innovation, and accelerated investment in the sector. We scripted history today by successfully launching India's first privately developed rocket, Vikram Yes. <laughs> Team Skyru dedicates this successful mission to Dr. Vikram Sarabhai who boldly started the Indian space program in the 1960s and Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji who unlocked the space sector to the private players. In line with India's self-reliant initiative, India will soon be launching its first ever at Manirbar human flight, Kaganyan. The objective of the project is to take a three-man crew into orbit for five to seven days and bring them back to Earth safely. 
India allocated $137 billion to the Department of Space in 2022 to 2023 for the smooth running of all of its missions. As per a report by the Indian Space Association and Ernst & Young, the satellite manufacturing sector is expected to grow from $2.1 billion in 2020 to $3.2 billion in 2025, while launch services will grow from $567.4 million in 2020 to $1 billion in 2025. For the broader interest of people all over the world, India has forged space project collaborations with the United Nations, BRICS nations, as well as with Israel, NASA, and the European space. India's breakthrough technological work has resulted in success for India's space sector. Government initiatives and reforms are on track to be game changers for India's space sector, further expediting the industry's growth. India created history by becoming the first country to enter the orbit of the Red Planet in its first attempt. The pioneering mission, Mangalyaan, was the most economical mission ever to Mars. Its budget was about 75 million, which cost only 11% of NASA's Mars Atmosphere and Volatile Evolution mission, MAVEN. The Indian space spirit is determined and limitless. Experts say the day is not far when India's lunar exploration mission will be a success.